Hello everybody, Wine Fairy here. Now I know you've all been drinking and you all know how to drink, but do you really know how to assess the wine and how to appreciate what you've got in your glass? So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, firstly, you want to obviously pour yourself something, something rather delicious, so that's what you're about to find out. And you start by looking at the wine. You want to see the colour. The colour can give you a great indication of age and style, uh, the complexity because of the viscosity when you're when you're swirling the wine and once you've sort of understood the basics of the color you then want to nose the wine and you're looking for three different layers of aromas primary secondary and tertiary now I like to call this my three-step tasting protocol in that most of the things I'm going to talk to you today are in threes so starting with your primary aromas primary aromas essentially are all the aromas that are coming from the grape itself. So anything that's fruit, vegetative or floral that you'd pick up on the nose. Secondary aromas come from the fermentation and time in the cellar, so in the barrels. So there you'd pick up more honey tones, more toasted nut kind of characteristics. And then as the wine ages, you're going to develop tertiary aromas. Now those tertiary aromas would happen through oxygenation happening in the bottle and just time resting, waiting for all those delicious flavors and tannins to characterize together. Now once you've assessed your aromas, what you're looking to do is then taste the wine. So you'll always take the first sip and just swallow. The idea of that really is just to cleanse your palate so that you're ready for the next sip. Now this one is a little bit more complicated and probably you've seen people do it and it can be slightly embarrassing but I'm going to exaggerate it ever so slightly just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So that second sip you're going to work it in your mouth like mouthwash. Really get it everywhere you want it. What we're doing there, working it like mouthwash as you saw, then stopping, leaving the wine on your palate, opening your mouth just a little, breathing oxygen over the top, then swallow and breathe out through your nose. What this is doing is really making sure that that wine and the structure gets into every nook and cranny of your palate, really so you can understand the fat of wine, the fruit, the acid, the tannins and the structure of it to understand the balance and to assess the wine from that kind of um, that standpoint. Now what you're looking for on the palate is how it reacts right now. So the fat, F-A-T, fruit, acids and tannins. Now this is simplifying it really but essentially the how quickly the juiciness comes back to your palate, the saliva, that to me indicates the fruit concentration and character within the wine itself. If you focus on your tongue right now, your taste buds are sort of doing this a little. They're elevated and that represents a lot of the acidity in the wine. So that lovely kind of richness and that zinging acidity, that zesty characteristic is very evident in the mid palate on your tongue. And then we look at tannins and our tannins come from two different places. You're going to get tannins essentially from the skins, the grape stems and the pips itself or the grape seed inside, so from the actual fruit. You're also going to get tannins from the barrel. And what tannin is, tannin is a molecule. Um, it's actually a polyphenol. And what happens with a tannin is when a wine is young, that molecule is an individual. And so your palate recognizes it and it very easy picks it up. And you, get, you recognize it in the form of an astringency characteristic on your palate. Now, as those wines age and the tertiary aromas develop, what's happening to that tannin is they're polymerizing, they're joining together, they're forming a little bit of a chain. And what that does then is it stretches the tannin itself as it connects with a protein. Don't forget wine is science. So as that connects together, what it's also doing is making it almost unrecognizable to your palate, but really represents itself in a much softer, more velvet, smooth characteristic that you would get on the finish. And that's often why we would leave wines to age a little because we want that full-bodied richness and character coming through together. But ideally what you're looking for on a wine 
is harmony. You want the balance between the fruits, the acids and the tannins. And what you now want to do is once you've established all of those characteristics is take your third sip. Now your third sip you drink just like you did the first. And the idea there being that that is so much smoother, you really get the full presentation and the purity of fruit coming through. And you can identify that balance in the harmony that we're expecting because your palate is completely ready for it. It understands the structure and the basis of the fruit, the acid and the tannin, and now just finishes with that lovely velvety deliciousness. And that's how you do the three steps. Now, the idea being that you only decide if you like a wine once you've tasted it and assessed it properly, because everybody deserves three chances at least. Cheers.